Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today and we're going to go over my desk, desk setup. setup. Hey guys, so this is my new studio. In the farthest left part of the studio, I have a new desk straight from Office Depot that I've set up as a workbench. I chose this desk because it has a similar appearance to the desk I already had, which is kind of surprising, granted they aren't even made by the same company. On the left side of the bench, I have a new parts organizer all labeled and sorted for my computer parts. Above the bench, I added two magnetic bars for holding all my tools and also have this rollout anti-static mat for building PCs. Moving closer towards the center of the room, you can see an L extension of my desk that I custom built to connect two glass desks together. On this extension, I have my Audio-Technica M50Xs on my headphone stand and my Pixel XL on my phone holder. Moving over to the computer desk, I have my computer mounted to the wall. The interesting thing about this wall, besides that I custom built it, which you saw in my vlog episodes, is that it has a center section that swings up, allowing for me to keep the wires completely hidden, but also still have access to them. The computer mounted to the wall has an overclocked i7-6850K with a Corsair H100i GTX water cooler on an Asus X99 Strix motherboard. It also has 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM, two custom painted GTX 1080s running in SLI, a Samsung 960 Evo NVMe SSD as the boot drive, 1.5 terabytes of Samsung's 850 Evo SSDs, seven terabytes of backup hard drive storage, and an EVGA G1 power supply with blue braided cables. Below the computer, I have the LG 27UD68-W 4K monitor also mounted to the wall. Realistically, I would probably have a 3 monitor setup eventually, but that's not in the budget right now. For speakers, I have the Edifier Luna Eclipse speakers. On the desk, I have the Corsair K65 keyboard and Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse. To the right of the desk, I made another extension piece where my Blue Yeti mic is stationed. The Blue Yeti has a blue windscreen and is resting on the Monoprice isolation shield. Above the Blue Yeti, I have this wooden panel with acoustic foam in it that actually hides the electric panel you probably saw from my vlog episodes. I need access to the electric panel, so I just thought this was the easiest way to still have access to it, but hide it at the same time. And the one on the other side is actually just a duplicate, it's just there to match so that it's even in the office. It has no functional purpose like this one does. On the opposite side of the room, I now have a new green screen that I created out of a projector screen. Again, you saw this in my vlog episodes. This green screen is perfect because it can be rolled up and down. It can be available when it needs to be or out of the way when it doesn't need to be available. In the center of the room, I have my racing style gaming chair made by a company called Mirax. I did another video reviewing this chair if you guys would like to check it out. On the right side of the studio, I have a test bench that I made in a previous video mounted to the side of the cabinet. The test bench will be testing different graphics cards for my tech question series and for the new series I'm starting soon. In the cabinet, I have my graphics cards displayed as well as my Nintendo Classic and Overwatch plaque. Below that, I have my Netgear Nighthawk X6 router and my Xbox One resting. Closing out this tour, I have my miscellaneous games, computer parts, and manuals organized into bins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my new studio. I'd be very curious to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously we want to just 
get some opinions and see if anything needs to be changed. I think I, it looks really good right now and I really like it, but I'm curious to he hear what you guys think. If there's anything you saw in this video that you'd like to get, or just want to know what the name is, I'll have links for everything in the description below. And basically that just helps out my channel. Um, just, you know, I get a little cut back when you guys click the links and that obviously helps me do videos like this and all the other videos I've done on the channel. And I'll have a link to my website down below where it's a little bit easier laid out. Basically it's pictures of, you know, the workbench or of my desk or whatever and you'll see what products are in those pictures. So if you don't know what a product's called just by looking at the links in the description below, then you can obviously go to my website and you can see exactly what products are in those pictures and see pictures of every single one. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll have both ways set up for you to check out. But I hope you guys like this video a lot. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya.